my husband died by suicide in 2017. And from the, the week after his death, I was on a mission to help make defense and the support system better for families. How the ADF treated me when I sought out an explanation into my brother's suicide and resulting in losing my career. As emotional as this journey has been, the support from the Royal Commission and those people that have also had issues with the ADF in the past has been tremendous. And while it's very painful to lose your identity, the career you love, I couldn't be culpable or responsible for the next suicide if I hadn't spoken up. When he died, I thought I was unique, but I was one of thousands. I actually worked with Dave Finney, which is obviously the, the person, the, the sailor that started, I guess, that really catapulted this drive for a Royal Commission. And I held a service for him here in Sydney. And he, unfortunately in that week, I lost three friends within the service to suicide. So I was like, right, this, this just has to stop. We, we can't, we can't keep doing it the way that we are. The issues that the Royal Commission was investigating are not new. They are decades old and it was really important for us to amplify the voices of the families that fought for this commission. We're really pushing to make sure that the ex-service community work together to make sure we capture any person in need and, and no one slips through the cracks. Uh, we have to work together to use our, our position and bargaining power to, to press the government to implement the changes that are required. I wanted to be able to tell Paul's story um, I wanted to explain that he was an amazingly talented young man and Paul's death, I believe, was directly attributable to the unacceptable behaviour and bullying that he received during his military career. I wanted to help give a voice for those who couldn't speak and I hope that Nobody has to go through the same things that many of us have gone through. As difficult as it was for me to tell my story, um, I needed to tell my story to make sure that it never happens again, ever.